If you're a runner, a crossfitter, a field sport athlete, or just anybody who engages in single leg dominant exercises, it's very common to get hip pain on the outside of the leg here. And most often, this is irritation of the tendons, the gluteal tendons that insert into this greater trochanter bone. So this is known as a greater trochanteric pain syndrome. And a really effective strategy you can start doing early on to load these tendons and decrease pain is isometrics. So all you need is a wall. So you're gonna stand about a foot and a half away from the wall and you're going to press your inside leg into that wall. And this is gonna be an overcoming isometric, meaning we're pushing into an immovable object, which is the wall. And I'm just going to drive through the inner edge of my foot and follow the big toe. Push my body into the wall as hard as I can. Anywhere from five to 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax and go again. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, if you're really irritable on the side of the hip here, you can opt for more longer duration isometrics where we can still get some good quality loading through these tendons. But the goal here is to have more of an analgesic effect, meaning to decrease pain. So we just won't be pushing as hard, but still getting a nice, good, sustained isometric in here, again, for 30 to 45 seconds. Now, something important to note with tendons is they don't like a lot of compressive force early on, meaning getting into a stretched position. So if we're predominantly working the lateral hip, glute med, glute min, they're not going to like a lot of this stretch motion, which is adduction. But since this is the position where injury and overload happened in the first place, we do want to get back to strengthening these ranges. So eventually we can work through full range. So I'll place a foam roller, or we can even use a stability ball, something that can roll easily up the wall. Now we can do more dynamic reps. So I'm pushing the roller up and then dropping down depressing my pelvis on this side, trying to hike it on this side. So you might know these as a hip hike. So we can hold that stretch position and push up. And we can do anywhere from 10 to 15 repetitions here. And we'll really start to feel a burn in that lateral hip. So I really like trying to bring this knee toward my chest as much as I can, because this is going to passively posterior tilt that pelvis and hike this side at the top. So we're using hip flexion on this leg to move the pelvis on this side, hiking it and allowing this side to posterior tilt and create much more tension in this glute. So try this out. Early on, we could do isometrics for longer durations to get some pain relief. And then maybe six to 12 weeks later, we can do some more higher intensity, shorter duration isometrics and then eventually moving into full range of motion here. So try these out. If you're working with me online, you will do this for the prescribed repetitions. So try it out, let me know how it goes.